also people welcome back to another video i hope you all are doing good this is gufran and you are watching the indian grad in germany if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and without further delay let's get started today's video is related to how much money i spent before coming to germany now this video is bit related to me so you can get an estimate of how much i spent and i haven't considered the variable components in this video so you'll get more understanding in this video so do watch the video till then and you will get to know how much money i spent on the university application process how much money i spent on the visa process and so on i have only took the fixed components which are common for all the students so that you can get a fair idea about how much you can spend before coming to germany and you will get an idea is it actually true that studying in germany is free and by the end of this video you will get to know like it's actually not true and why it's not true you'll get by seeing the amount how much the amount you spend before coming to germany and that amount is just variable that amount will definitely increase the amount that you will see by the end of this video is is huge so you spend a lot before coming to germany and some of the things are even not covered in your education loan so do watch the video on the screen uh, as you can see this is the amount i spent on the university application process so for unis's process i spent 6000 indian rupees for for sending the documents i spent around 1000 indian rupees then again i spent 1000 indian rupees for sending the documents by courier to the university for professional photo i spent 50 rupees for semester contribution i spent 12000 rupees as in the first semester we have to pay the fees from india so 12000 indian rupees for that i applied to university transcripts from from my university and uh, they charged me close to 2500 indian rupees for diploma transcripts they charged me 2500 indian rupees and for college transcripts i spent 300 indian rupees now all the uh, all the money that i spent is in indian rupees so for the people who are watching the video outside india please do the conversion accordingly uh, in in this video also one important point to note this is the amount that i spent on on my application process so you you just take an idea how much you will spend uh, on your application process and so on and you you can get a rough uh, a rough idea about how much money you can expect to spend before coming to germany and also in this video i haven't taken some of the variable components like the flight tickets to some students by laptop that i haven't considered in this then also i haven't considered few things few important things like how much you will spend on your clothes your utensils that you will take to germany and like many other things for that i'll make a separate video because that is kind of variable but these are the things which i have taken in this video they are most in common for many of the applicants so let's start with the second thing the visa process so in the first part in this thing i spent around 25000 indian rupees but for for another student they they can spend more or less based on their application process for example if i'll give you an example for uni assist i did only one application through uni assist that's why 6000 rupees but for students who are doing more than one application this amount can change for them now coming towards the second thing that is the visa process for visa process the fees i paid for the general visa application process it is common for everyone that is 7123 for the photo that is required for the visa based on the guidelines that i spent around 150 i spent 150 rupees for affidavit uh, it it was required for the visa i spent 350 rupees xerox this is uh, 150 but it it depends upon person to person this, this thing can vary uh yes this this is another important thing travel so generally the vfs center or the embassies are, are generally in the metro city so for that uh, i i went to a different city and i spent 3000 rupees so this is around 3000 more or less you can yeah so as far as i remember i spent around this much then miscellaneous like food or something which i did around the road or yeah so miscellaneous i considered 1500 
and then uh, this is not the end of the visa process but you have to spend more amount for this service which i took that is pick and drop visa courier service so 2266 including all the sms service and everything so total uh, for visa process i spent 14,500 rupees. So important point to consider over here, this was not covered in loan. So these are the things that you can't cover this in loan. For these things, you can't, you, you don't get loan, right? You, you, you do spend on all these things before getting loan. So just consider this thing in mind. There are some students who think that it's totally free uh, studying in Germany, but yeah around you spend around two lakhs or something before coming to germany if you take out the actual expenses or the actual money you spend during this application process the time frame so it's for, at the end of this video i'll give a quick advice to students what to do and what are my tips for students who are just planning to apply for universities in germany yeah so coming towards the next topic which is bank getting a loan from indian banks it's particularly the government banks it's it's not free you have to spend something then you get a loan so for lawyer the title verification the search verification and everything they took around three thousand rupees then for the house valuation the valuator he take he took three thousand rupees for the processing fees to grant the loan 5000 indian rupees stamp duty around 11000 indian rupees kyc and verification 1700 so the total is 23900 or you can say 24000 i spent to get a loan so see even getting a loan for that you have to pay this much amount and this is kind of variable from banks to banks i spent actually more than this because then you have to take out the insurances and everything for so that, as that is a variable component i haven't added but you can take that amount ranging from 10 to 15 thousand so that depends so but generally this is the amount like most of the students they will pay in the uh, in the government banks to get a loan so i spend around 24 thousand indian rupees to get to sanction my loan so see getting loan is also not not free you have to pay something then coming towards the language courses so for the language courses this this thing is common in most of the students that why that's why i have covered this point uh, for ielts coaching i did coaching so i spent 8000 rupees for that then for exam fees this is the common thing for most of the students I spent 12,250 rupees as most of the exam centers are not in the small cities they are in the metro cities you have to travel so I spent around close to 2000 Indian rupees for all travel food and etc for that particular exam day I did A1 German coaching for 10,000 Indian rupees then I did A1 exam for 7,000 Indian rupees then I didn't took any exam, I did only coaching. Then for A2, I did coaching, uh, I spent 10,000 Indian rupees for that. Then for B1, I did coaching, I spent 14,000 Indian rupees. So just for all the prep part, which is IELTS, German and everything, I, I spent 63,000 or you can consider 63,250 Indian rupees. See, uh, here one thing is i would suggest you can save money is in this part 8000 indian rupees you can you can save this if you don't join a coaching or something because it's comparatively very easy exam and i think i spent 8000 over here but still it depends from person to person if he's willing to join so yeah so you can save this this amount but overall if we if i consider the grand total of all those things so it's coming to one lakh thirty thousand so actually it's it's not free studying in germany you spend much more before coming to germany it, this is just just for the visa language courses 
application process and banks so this this is 130000 and this is still variable i mean it's it's not less than this i i can guarantee that for sure it's always more than this amount and in in this part i haven't considered many things because that are variable things and uh, i i i thought why not to consider only the things that are fixed for most of the students so in the variable things the things that i haven't covered is i haven't covered my flight ticket i haven't covered my laptop expenses i haven't covered my clothes expenses i haven't covered many things like you you spend on petrol you spend of petrol in the sense of gas when when you do all this coaching you you spend on petrol then there are many things apart from this uh, you spend on utensils that you buy before coming to germany the shopping that you do and all those things are quite variable also you, you spent for your initial month deposit and rent from india itself before coming to germany so apart from the block account there are several different things you spend so it's actually not free to study in germany but yeah the tuition fee that is free for in the sense we are talking about but before coming to germany you spend a lot of money and uh, trust me if you are from a middle class family sometimes it becomes difficult to arrange even this much amount of money in india and uh, i would suggest for the students who are just planning to do their masters after the bachelors a uh, quick advice for them is don't uh, come directly after your bachelors take some work experience work for some companies save some amount and use that amount from your salary as as an option to bear this this expenses and yeah if you if you do that way you don't have to either take the money from your parents and you can do it that way so uh this is the thing and one quick uh, point of advice at the end of this video is for laptop expenses for flight tickets and for the initial month deposit and something the things that uh, are included you can take uh, the amount from bank so bank do help if you want to buy a new laptop before going to germany if you want to book your flight ticket bank do give the money from the loan amount so uh you don't have to worry for all those things so you i'll make a separate video on how to apply for a bank loan and how to uh take all these things into consideration when taking the money from bank so yeah this was all related to today's video i hope you have liked the video so do subscribe to the channel share this data with your friends and yeah do like the video so i hope Uh, the video was helpful and yeah have a nice day